Hey, so if you're looking for a way to use Webflow and WordPress on the same website, I'm gonna show you four ways how we can get that done. Okay, so none of these ways is gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be some give and take, so just look through these four ways, see which one works best for you and go with that. So we're gonna start out with the Webflow Pages plugin. What this is, it's a, it's a plugin on WordPress. You install the plugin and you essentially are gonna be pulling in the Webflow pages onto your WordPress website. Um, this is gonna be common if you have a particular plugin that you wanna use on WordPress, but you wanna build the website out in Webflow, or maybe you just like Webflow's page builder and you wanna build a particular landing page. It's a great plugin to use, it's super easy. It's essentially just, uh, you know, you're going to the WordPress page and then it's redirecting you to the Webflow served page. Um, it's a great option. So one thing to keep in mind with uh, the Webflow Pages plugin and really all four of these options in general is I recommend that you have at least a little bit of SEO experience before, you know, trying something like this out for a client. And I know that's super vague, like what does SEO experience actually mean? But just make sure you understand how Google indexing works and how, you know, 301 page redirects work because you don't want to screw something up, especially for a client that could impact their um, online visibility. That is not something that you want to do. So our second option is Udesly. What this is, it's creating a WordPress theme from your Webflow website. Now, I've never actually used this. Um, I'm not sure what exact context you would want to use this in other than simply just creating a, a, a nice looking theme on WordPress um, easily with Webflow. Um, if you are interested in it, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find out more about it. Um, if it fits you, go for it. The third way is going to be using a subdomain. So what you're doing is you could you publish your website out on Webflow and then you could use a subdomain on WordPress or you could publish your main domain on WordPress and use a subdomain on Webflow. So what's a real life example of how you could use this? Now, I actually just published a website last week for a client where the client was using WordPress and they had a particular plugin on WordPress that they absolutely had to use. The plugin could not be used on Webflow, unfortunately. So what I was planning on doing was publishing the website on WordPress and then using the Webflow Pages plugin, which we talked about earlier. After playing around with it for a bit, I was just about ready to publish and then the API key stopped working. I reached out to Webflow support, they didn't know exactly what was going on, some sort of caching issue with WordPress. So what ended up happening was I published the main website on Webflow, the main domain, and then the subdomain is on WordPress. Now this worked out perfectly for me because the main domain on Webflow is everything that I want to be indexed, everything I want the public to be able to see on, you know, in the search results. On the subdomain, I wanted it to be no index, meaning I don't want it to be in the search results. So this just happened to work out perfectly. Again, this is just another one of those examples where it's nice to have SEO experience because this plugin was an events calendar plugin where she listed all of her piano lessons for the students. And I definitely don't want that private information to go out and be indexable to the public. So it was nice that I was able to publish, you know, all the public information on the main domain and the private stuff on the subdomain. Another example I've seen people uh, use this is, for example, like a blog, blog.whatever.com. It's not usually recommended to do it that way, but say the client for whatever reason wanted to blog on WordPress, but they wanted to build the rest of the website out on Webflow, you could do it that way. Not my preferred option, but it's definitely an option. Okay, and number four is using an iframe. So what this is doing is pulling in an HTML document from another source and bringing it onto another website or another page on another website. So for example, you could publish out the, uh, the website, if, if we're using our last example, we could publish out the website on Webflow and then we could use an iframe on the Webflow website that pulls in the page or this events calendar page from WordPress. This would actually work out really well. All right, so there's four ways to integrate Webflow and WordPress on the same website. If you guys know of any other ways, please let me know because I would love to add more of these tools to my toolbox. Right now, all of my websites are being built out on Webflow, but most people are coming from WordPress. So I'm sure a lot more of these questions and issues are gonna pop up in the future as I switch more people over to Webflow. All right, that's all I have. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later.